Ronnie told me the reason why he beat Flex that year and continued to beat him over the years is because he wanted it more. And he was training, he was willing to train harder. Um, what do you think about Ronnie's style of training? I'm sure you've seen, you've seen, you've seen it in person, I'm sure, you've seen it in videos. He was going hardcore. I, mean, I think you, it's cool. I, I like that. I like that approach of training. Um, I think to get to that level, you have to train like that. You know, Ronnie had it. Enormous amounts of size and the quality of the muscle, you know, that can't be done through just sitting there pumping 25, 30, or 40 pound dumbbells for uh, 20 reps for five, six, seven sets. You know, I mean, he, he put the workload on his muscles to make them get to a level to where there were deep cuts, deep striations, and hard work. You know, and that's what his body prevailed. You saw that. And you can't duplicate that, you know. You can't. You can't. You can't go in the gym and train like Ronnie Coleman. You don't have a chance of looking like him. You know. You can sit there and pump all you want. If you're sitting there pumping, you know, <laughs> two or three hundred pounds on a squat rack, four hundred pounds on a squat rack, that ain't gonna do it. I don't care if you do a thousand reps, it ain't gonna do it. You know. So if you're not willing to go to that place where the where he is going to and train like that and withstand that and, and live like that and do that and do that and do that, then you don't have a chance against him. You're not going to have a chance. You know, his mindset is just at another level, you know, and, and, um, and it showed, it showed through his career. And he took it, he just took it, took it, man. Things he do, videos with that amount of weight, it's not normal strength. It's a gift from God, number one, that he has. He's gifted with genetics. Uh, to be able to do that, and, and, and like I said, we saw a moment of greatness, man. It was a great era we lived in, um, just to be a part of that. I'm thankful to God and blessed the, f the fact that I even know him and, and, and was there to see him grow into the sport from a kid, a 20-some-year-old man, right, who had a dream with inside his, his mind and his spirit. I just through all adversaries and challenges financially, right? Saving money to catch trains to another country, you know, maybe missing trains, showing up last in shows, you know, paying for his own food, going through all these things. I mean, if you sit back and you really look, look at something like that and to be an eight time Mr. Olympia, you know, that's amazing. So I believe that you know, I just got to say that not a lot of people have that mindset of a champion to withstand those kind of storms and those challenges. They will quit and they will give up. But Ronnie Coleman didn't quit on us. He gave us the blessings that God gave him and he shared them with us. And that's the respect that I have for him. Yeah. Well, like what you said about Ronnie reaching the having the best physique of all time and reaching kind of the pinnacle of what the human body can achieve. And after him, sort of like he reached, the, you know, it's like the top of the mountain. And after it's, you know, like you said, it's changing now. It's evolving more into other things, right? It's mm -hmm. almost like he pushed it to the limit, right? Would you agree? Yeah, but we remember the top of the mountain. You know what I mean? That's, we remember the top of the mountain. He showed us what that looks like. And now we're feeling the warrior with inside. You know, we, we see that warrior spirit where he is now that driving force, you know, to with, withstand the challenges that he faced now, you know. And that's the beauty of the, tran the transitioning that you see him going through, you know. He's not just quitting and give up, you know. Warriors and, I don't know, Ronnie just has a gift in his brain, something that triggers in, in, his, in this man's brain to not, stop and not quit mm -hmm. and not complain and help everybody mm -hmm. and love everybody in the situation he makes the best out of the situations that he has and it's incredible mm -hmm. you know absolutely um it's also incredible to me how do you feel about him remaining in the, in the, in the force of being a police officer while competing and being a bodybuilder you know uh, is that incredible what do you think yeah i mean you know, he's, he's the first one to really do it at that level. I thought that was pretty impressive, you know. Um, 
that I didn't even know he was a cop for a long, long time. Oh, really? Wow. You know, until he started beating me. And I was like, eh, that dude's, I didn't know he was a cop. You know? Um, so, yeah, it brought a lot of attention to to him and what he was as a person and as a man, you know?